her business out there. But it's like, girl, how they even met? Yeah, I'm not even gonna say it unless you wanna say it, but. I don't say hi. No, stop, stop, stop. If you're not about to talk about this, then. I don't know why you're allowed to talk. Because, I'll tell you why. Because this bitch is Kathy. I guess, oh yeah, she was saying the whole thing about her label setting this up and all that was just a lie to hurt me and it didn't really happen. So bitch, when we became friends after, wouldn't you think to tell me that? Like, oh, that wasn't true. Like, first of all, that's putting your label on the spot. So if that was a lie, you should have cleared that up. She never once told me she just said that to hurt my feelings or anything. Like, never once. And is now trying to say that. So. It's just a lot, bro. Just a lot. Just know a lot of it is cap. A lot of it is exaggerated. The whole Cardi shit. Like, bro, get your head out your ass. Yeah, I knew who you were because we lived in a city, the same city, and you're a pretty girl. But I do not keep up with your relationship. If I don't know you, I just don't. And at the time, I'm gonna be honest, I wouldn't have even cared. I didn't know you. The niggas telling me he's single and that you're disgusting and you're crazy and you're a psychopath and all this shit. Everyone around me tell me the same thing because you're still to this day obsessed and in love with him. So it's like, did I care? No, I was 17, didn't know you. Oh yeah, and Taylor, bro. She's never, ever, ever had sex with this man. He can literally say that. Never. I don't know why she threw Taylor in there. Ruby just doesn't like pretty girls. She doesn't like Seven either. She's intimidated by anyone pretty that's doing shit with their lives and that's getting attention, especially if it's from the same people. Like, she doesn't like that. She's insecure and intimidated by other pretty women. This girl literally sat and told me all her friends in Atlanta, the real bitches she was talking about in her video that are her yes men, that they're all bums not doing shit with their lives. And that's why she needed to be around people like me because I actually have my own money and I don't need her. I don't. When we first even met, I had way more followers than her. Not that any of that matters, but I'm just saying like all that shit is cap. So I just, y'all aren't going to sit here and make me look like an ass. You could still hate me, believe what you want, but certain things just need to be clarified. Like y'all have me fucked up. Nah, she has me fucked up. And talking about, oh, when I see you, I'm going to slap you, all this. Bitch, drop the location. Come to LA, I swear to God. I don't care. This girl is rap cap. Like, everything she says is cap. So I would love to see it in person. I really would. Because I'm not a fighter. And honestly, I'm too cute for that. But it is what it is. I'm just, I'm just fed up. I'm just fed up. It sucks that I had to come out of character and do this, y'all. But I'm just like sitting here literally laughing at shit. Laughing. Like, I don't even know why. It really pisses me off that she even brought Taylor into it. Because this girl has done nothing to her. Talking about she wore her clothes, all this shit. I had an Airbnb for my birthday. I wanted everyone to dress up on my birthday. Taylor forgot to bring her dress. Ruby literally insisted like, oh, I have an extra dress. Wear it. Hyped her up to take pictures. Told her she looked good. And then behind closed doors talking shit about her. Like, that's how she is. She's fake. I've literally been with her. She'll compliment someone, hype them up, and then when they walk away, like, oh, I just did that. I just did that to hype them up. They really ain't shit. Like, 